Hey everybody, my name is Bianca and for all the replay watchers, please type hashtag replay into the comments so that I can see that you're watching. And in this live, you're going to learn three secret hacks to massively increase your energy level so that you can get twice as much done in half the time. I'm super, super excited to be sharing this with you. So if you have ever felt like um, the stuff that you're doing is taking you ages and it's taking you twice as long than it should, then this masterclass is for you. Because I have been there in 2011, I was dragging myself out of bed. I needed three coffees to get started. I was eating chocolate for England. That's where I live. I was eating chocolate for England just to make it through the day. I was constantly beating myself up that I hadn't done what I wanted to achieve and I was working massive overtime. I was the one who was first and last in the office and it was it was terrible because I felt constantly tired like I wasn't getting enough done and at night even though I collapsed into bed I was so wired that I couldn't sleep and my bosses told me this is normal this is what the job is all about you know um, I went to see some doctors because eventually I felt so tired all the time that I thought there must be something wrong with me right um, because I thought I was a lot more tired than everybody else and the doctors told me no no you're fine your labs are fine um, you're just stressed you're just stressed go and relax and other doctors told me, oh, you know, your job is just too stressful. Maybe you need to change jobs. Maybe your career is just not for you. And that was so frustrating because I was in my dream career at the time. So, um, but I went and did more research and I changed a few things in my life. I stayed in the same job and i started working less when i made those changes and i'm going to tell you about exactly what changes i did in this life i'm not going to hold anything back so i made a few changes to my everyday habits and to my mindset i started working a lot less and um, so no more evenings no more weekend work i started to invest more in my self-care and I thought, oh my gosh, when they find out what I'm doing, they're going to fire me. And um, But nobody fired me. They actually promoted me because I got so much more done. I set effective boundaries. I built my self-confidence. And I showed that it was possible to work less, get more done, and actually have a life and reconnect to my partner and actually have friends outside of work. I mean, that was just so meaningful to me because nobody else had ever admitted that that's actually possible so in this life today i want to share with you exactly what i did um what worked for me and what works today for my clients and if you stay until the end i've got a very special gift for you as well so i'm giving away a free um, a course for free the value is 97 pounds and i'm gonna show you how you can get it at the end of this life so I'm super excited. The reason why I'm so excited about sharing these tips with you and about what I do today is because I see so many people suffering, hustling, people pleasing, feeling tired, feeling exhausted and not showing up as their best selves. And I think the world would be so much better place if we all, as female entrepreneurs, right, who are changing the world, if we all showed up as an even more amazing version of ourselves than we already are. Ah, and that's what today's life is all about. So I'm going to give you three hacks. Um, oh, one thing I should mention is that I am an ICF accredited coach. I'm a health coach, a life coach, a transformational coach. So it's deep um, subconscious um, coaching. And I'm also a rapid transformational therapist, which is a type of hypnotherapy that's super deep, super intense and gets massive changes in very quick timings. And I'm going to talk a little bit in one of the hacks too because you can get started right away right you don't wait you need to wait for anybody else to help you with this this is um stuff that works that stuff stuff that you can make work now so without further ado the first tip to massively increase your energy levels is to get better sleep and everybody else talks about oh if you want to get better sleep then you need to have a bedtime routine sleep hygiene right you have to have a 10-step evening routine and i say what's actually a lot more important 
for good sleep than an evening routine is what you do first thing in the morning. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. So a lot of us in the Western world suffer from a condition that's called social jet lag. Social jet lag. I'm not sure whether uh, you've ever heard about that. Give me a give me a jet lag in the comments if you've heard, or give me a J in the comments if you've ever heard about this condition called social jet lag. And I know not many people are probably flying at the moment. Yet, despite we're not flying, despite the fact that we're not getting onto airplanes, uh, many of us are suffering from this condition called social jet lag. And what social jet lag is is you get the symptoms of jet lag, so the extreme tiredness, the sluggishness, the brain fog, the um, you know the procrastination, the fact that you can't think straight, that you're craving junk food, etc. We get that even though we haven't traveled through time zones, but what we're actually doing is um, that we're not getting up at the same time every day. Um, so people have weekend lions, right? And I used to do that too when I was in banking at the very beginning in my corporate career. I'd work like a horse during the week and then I'd sleep at the weekend. And what that did though is that it caused me social jet lag where I had these jet lag like symptoms um, where Sunday night I couldn't sleep because I'd slept in on Saturday and Sunday. And there was no sleep drive, right? My body clock was completely out of sync. So what you can do to prevent social jet lag is to get up at the same time every morning, even on the weekends. And I know that may sound harsh to people. It did sound really harsh to me at the beginning. But what it does to you is that you won't have the same problems going to sleep in the evenings anymore because your body knows, okay, I get up at this time every morning. That's the new start of a 24 hour period, right? You, so you're resetting what's called the circadian rhythm, which is a fancy word for your 24 hour body clock. And by resetting that every morning, your body will also know what time it is. It's the time to go to sleep. So um, the second thing that you need to do every morning, which most people at the moment aren't doing for obvious reasons, but try to do it anyways if you can, is to step outside. The best thing to do in the morning is to step outside and get some daylight into your eyes. And not, I'm not saying look straight into the sun, but by getting some daylight into your eyes, what that's doing is that it's helping your internal clock to register. Oh, it's the start of a new 24 hour period. And therefore, you will reinforce this reprogramming of your internal body clock. So get up at the same time every morning, go outside without sunglasses because this is an, this is not about um, producing uh, vitamin D in your body where you need to get your skin exposed to daylight. The reason why you're going to um, the outdoors first thing in the morning without sunglasses is because the iris of your eyes needs to be exposed to really bright daylight. That's the, the brightest light that there is um, in order to register, oh, it's the start of a new day, you know. Um, bring everything in motion, you know, high cortisol, high cortisol levels, which is a hormone that gets you to do stuff, that a hormone that gives you energy so that you can get twice as much done in half the time. So, um, and have a proper morning routine. So, and I know that some of us may not feel like, oh, I'm not a morning routine person. I'm not a morning person, right? And a client of mine also felt like she wasn't a morning person. She would work in the evenings after she put her three-year-old son to sleep and she would do some work in the evenings because um, her mornings, she started working later in the mornings because she'd do the nursery run for her son. So she could only really start working at 10 and then she took a break between uh, five and seven-ish um, to again spend some time with her son and then she'd go back to work and what she found was that the stuff that she was doing in the evenings took her so much longer to do um, but that was just the way that you know she was operating she believed that she was a night owl and she had some slight problems sleeping and she felt sluggish in the morning and um, when we started working together and we did some more of the confidence and deep subconscious work 
she decided, okay, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to get up at 5 a.m. every morning. I'm going to do a morning routine to really fire myself up, to get that light exposure, go outside for a walk, and let's see how it goes. And uh, she completely stopped working evenings. And sometimes she'd have like a presentation the following morning. She hadn't even prepared it. And she took on the mindset that the task will take the time that's allocated to it in order to get completed. So the task will take the time that's allocated to it. And when she took on that mindset, she managed to cut out all the stuff that she would usually have put in, you know, working late nights, um, that just didn't matter. And she was a little bit scared about people on her team noticing that um, she was uh, dragging her feet a little bit, but Ashley, People praised her because she was on point, she was focused on what matters and she forgot about all the rest. So, and then she found, hey, I'm actually a morning person. I'm so much more productive in the morning. And what I like about not working in the evenings is that I can really allow myself to switch off and to spend some quality time with my family, with my son and my husband. So, um, it, was, it was a beautiful story and during us working together eventually she also got promoted to a position that she didn't even think was within reach at the time we started working together so that's the first tip um to get better sleep is to focus on what you do in the mornings and really put your deep work the high concentration work in the mornings so that you when your cortisol levels are high so that's a hormone that helps you to get more done and allow yourself to relax in the evenings and really enjoy life Okay, the second tip is to nourish yourself. And a lot of people would talk about, about taking supplements. And I say it's not necessarily about what you eat, but it's about how you eat. And many of my nutritionist friends ask me, what do you mean by that, Bianca? It totally matters what they eat. And yes, to a certain extent, I mean, if you only eat McDonald's, then you're probably going to end up with some nutritional deficiencies. But if you have a varied diet, then you're probably okay. If there is some nutrient deficiency in you, it's probably about how you eat um, rather than what you eat, if you're already eating really healthily. So I want to talk about the how today, which is something that is not really talked about in our society, but that makes all the difference for your anxiety levels, for your stress levels, for your productivity, and also for how easy it will be for you to sleep in the evenings. So the how really is, um, if you think back to caveman times where we lived in caves and it was safe inside the cave, it wasn't safe outside the cave. So when we went out the cave as women, we went in big groups, we picked some berries, right? We had our babies with us, but we didn't really breastfeed them. And um, uh, when we were outside, right, breastfeeding is for the cave, um, we picked some berries and then bush back into the cave. And it's in the cave where we feel safe that we, that we would eat. So outside the cave, we'd be in... Um, fight or flight mode right always on the lookout for the saber-toothed tiger we'd be in big groups anyways and inside the cave we'd allow ourselves to sit down and go into what's called the rest and digest state so it's called rest and digest it's not called stand in front of the pantry and digest it's not called stand and digest so the first tip of how to eat properly is to sit down Sitting down signals to your body, okay, it, we're safe. It's fine to relax and to switch off that anxiety response that we're usually in. So um, in today's world, what that also means is no screens. Absolutely no screens, no phone, no laptop. And I know that it's really hard as busy entrepreneurs and maybe mums that we are to not have a quick snack whilst you're working right because it seems like we're saving time but actually when you're working and eating at the same time you're in that stress response you're in fight or flight response and that's when you cannot digest and that's what slows you down later during the day because your digestive system is not absorbing any nutrients because you're not allowing it to so what you need to do is allow yourself for 20 minutes to invest 
into your productivity by sitting down, focusing on your food, right? Experiencing your food with all the senses. How does it smell? How does it look? What's it gonna feel like in my mouth, right? You notice that you're salivating when you're even just thinking about food. And then by chewing it properly, by observing it properly, chewing it properly, you're actually already starting your digestion as much as a third of your digestion happens before you even swallow it. So if you do this, your productivity is going to skyrocket. If you take 20 minutes for each meal in the day and then maybe go outside for 10 minutes, walk a little bit, um, do a little bit of movement, your productivity is going to be amazing because you're giving your body space to digest and also you're giving yourself time and space to actually get into that beautiful rest and digest state, right? There's no need for three hour of yoga classes if you can just allow yourself for little pieces during the day to go into that beautiful rest and digest state and nourish yourself from from the inside out okay so my third tip for increasing your productivity is a mindset hack that will help you avoid distractions so does it ever happen to you that you sit in front of your laptop maybe on uh, or your computer maybe on facebook and the squirrel runs across the screen and then another squirrel runs across the screen and you were actually going to do some PowerPoint presentation, but you ended up um, in all these rabbit holes looking for squirrels and shiny objects. And at the end of the day, um, it's 8 p.m. and you haven't really achieved what you wanted to achieve that day because um, there were all these distractions, right? So what's happening in your subconscious mind is that um, your subconscious mind thinks, oh, um, this task that I'm working on, it's not really... Um, it's I'm kind of uncomfortable doing this task, doing this presentation, mm, you know, and it just feels so much um, easier to just go and be distracted, right? Rather than producing something that actually brings my business forward, but that's kind of scary. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna check out this thing <laughs> where I'm just consuming something. And yes, consuming something is a lot um, safer um, then actually putting something out there that you've produced yourself and facing the risk of rejection, right? Because in cave woman times, rejection meant death. <laughs> and our brains are still programmed that way. So here's a tip of how you can reprogram your subconscious mind to make sure that you get that task done. And that is very simply, first of all, um, focus again on your why. Why did you start this business? What's so important about this business for you? What's this business going to give you? What's the contribution that you're making to the world? Your clients, what do they need you for? Those people out there that are waiting for you to see you, to help them, right? Um, you want to go out there and help them now. So program your subconscious mind to really want to be in that future version where you're just giving that presentation already that you're working on. So that's the first thing. And when those distractions come up, because they will come up, you can delete your notifications, um, you can close everything down, but you will get distracted. It's very normal. It's a normal human response to get distracted when, um, when we work on something that makes us slightly uncomfortable. And um, a mindset hack to do when that happens is to tell yourself, I can always go and check out that squirrel, but now I'm choosing to work on my why. I'm choosing to work on my business and that makes me feel empowered, that makes me feel amazing and that makes me feel so accomplished. And when you repeat that sentence to yourself, when those distractions come up, when you repeat to yourself, I'm feeling empowered when I say no to ClickFunnels advert, when I say no to a Facebook ads thingy, and when I say no to this other thing, that's when your subconscious mind gets like, okay, so she's happy when she's working on this un slightly uncomfortable thing, and you're gonna be a lot more productive like that. So this is something that I work on with my clients to really hone in this massive productivity race that they get where 
we go into hypnosis, we delete everything that's holding them back, you know, we find our subconscious blocks and reprogram the subconscious mind so that you are laser focused on your goal, on your why, and there is no other option for your subconscious than to get you to do what you want to do. So if you're scared of Facebook Lives, for example, what rapid transformational ther um, therapy can do for you is that we do a massive um, emotional flood where when you're on that Facebook Live and when you see people commenting that you just feel so amazing and that people are appreciating you so much for teaching the things that you teach, for allowing you to become their clients. And when you listen to that recording after the session over and over again, you start believing it from the inside out. So it's very different from downloading some meaningless affirmations from YouTube because these suggestions that you get in your recording are specifically for you, are specifically for your unique situation and what you want to achieve in this world. So I had one client, her name was Anna, and she really wanted to start her coaching business but she felt like she was always looking after her children she had a one-year-old she was 35 kilos heavier than um, before she had her first child and um, she was working in the evening she felt so sluggish in the mornings we did a session on her fatigue and it turned out that it was all about trying to protect her from being rejected and it was about the relationship with her mother um, it was a very intense three-hour session. There were lots of tears. And what happened is the following day we caught up and she said, Oh my goodness, I haven't woken up this happy in like a decade. Right? So this is why this work is so, so important to me. What I haven't told you yet is that my father was also a very hard-working entrepreneur and he believed that burnout was part of the deal. Burnout was part of being an entrepreneur. And he collapsed out of the blue and passed away a month before my first baby was born, right? So my dad and his first grandchild never met each other. And here's the thing, I have experienced myself and for my clients that success doesn't have to come with burnout. And I don't want what happened to my dad to happen to anybody else. So I'm very, very passionate about this work. So if you liked this presentation today, there is a freebie on my website, www.biancarima.com. It's a free six part video course with a workbook that will teach you um, similar things to what I talked about today, simple hacks that will massively increase your energy. And um, email me, email me with your questions. If you're interested in working together, there's a link in um, the comments above where you can check out what I do with people when we work together. So we basically massively increase your energy levels um, you learn mindset hacks to um, do before you get on the phone with people, before you present, so that you're in a high energetic state. We um, work on your time management. We're moving you from managing your time and constantly beating you up that you're not doing enough into actually managing your energy so that you're constantly um, cheering yourself on and focus more on what you're getting done and actually focusing on what you don't get done. So we're also going to install what I like to call the inner cheerleader. Um, somebody who, instead of constantly beating you up, oh, Bianca, you haven't done this, you haven't done that, hey, you said you would do this, and then you squirrel, right? Instead of that voice that's really annoying and that keeps you from sleeping at night, we're going to install the inner cheerleader, somebody who cheers you and, yes, Bianca, well done, you did your first Facebook Live. Yes, Bianca, well done, you posted something, right? And yes, it's scary, but this inner cheerleader will cheer you on when you do things that you maybe don't really want to do, but the result of what you get afterwards is what you really want. And that inner cheerleader is that the opposite of, of, the, um, of that voice that tells you, no, no, don't do it, it's dangerous. Um, it's the, yes, you've done it, and oh my gosh, it's so amazing, do it again, more, 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 and you feel amazing, and then when come 8 p.m., you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so happy with what I've achieved today, and then you can allow yourself to disconnect from work, 
and to reconnect to the people that really matter in your life. Um, yes, um, it's just beautiful to do this work. So my clients achieve things in their life they never would have thought would be possible for them in their career, in their business, and at the same time reconnect to the people that really matter to them and they thought that would never be um, possible. So I'm very... Um, I'm very excited about this work and um, let me just check what comments there are. Morning, Lachelle. La okay. Hi, Dean. Yeah. So Lola is saying, step aside and get some daylight into your eyes. Step outside. Yes, exactly. Daylight is so, so important. Try to get as much daylight as you can. Safely, of course. So if you're driving somewhere in the morning and you need your shades, then by all means put on your sunglasses. But try to get as much daylight safely as possible. Um, all right. Beautiful. Lola says, I love being a cheerleader and she's feeling empowered. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today, ladies, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and see you soon. Bye.